Well, it's looking that way. President Donald Trump on Monday said it appeared Iran was behind Saturday's devastating attacks on oil facilities in Saudi Arabia. Trump did not say how the U.S. would respond to the attacks, but he did say the U.S. had a number of options. I'm not looking to get into new conflict, but sometimes you have to. His comments, made alongside Bahrain's Crown Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, came a day after he warned Iran that the U.S. was locked and loaded. Earlier on Monday, Trump on Twitter referenced Iran's shooting down of a U.S. drone earlier this summer that Tehran said was in its airspace. Trump said Iran knew it was a very big lie. He added, now they say that they had nothing to do with the attack on Saudi Arabia. We'll see. Iran has denied any role in Saturday's attacks, which crippled oil facilities of the state-owned company Aramco. The attacks cut more than half of the Saudi oil output, or roughly 5 percent of the global oil supply. The Saudi-led military alliance on Monday said the attack was carried out with Iranian weapons and was not launched from nearby Yemen, despite a claim of responsibility from Yemen's Houthi rebels. In Turkey on Monday, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani told the press that the Yemeni people were exercising their right to defend themselves. Officials are still trying to determine the launch location. U.S. officials told Reuters they'd consider expanding intelligence sharing with Saudi Arabia in response. The attacks on Saudi Arabia triggered the biggest jump in oil prices in almost 30 years, as it stokes fears of a regional conflict led by arch foes Saudi Arabia and Iran.